This demo is going to show you an overview of the Integrate and Verify Analytics Lens. The digital.ai analytic lenses use data to drive continuous improvement across the software lifecycle. The Integrate and Verify Lens uses data-driven insights to boost UX by improving code quality, making testing more effective, and reducing defect leakage. Let's take a closer look at the Integrate and Verify Analytics Lens, starting with the Test Execution Dashboard. This is the test execution dashboard. Here's where I can see the metrics relating to the execution of tests. I'm going to start by selecting the application which we're going to see the testing progress of, customer support. The test execution trend indicates that the overall testing effort on this application has reduced in prior months, characterized by the number of executions you see when you hover over the trend chart. It appears that there's no testing conducted via the data center in Australia and US on Android devices. The data indicates that iPhone 8, SE, 6S, and Samsung G9 20A devices with the most amount of testing. This trend changes when you select the application on the top right hand. We're going to look at claim verification. Now the test execution for claim verification is focused on the Android device with a better test execution success rate. However, on iPhone, the test execution failed by almost 50%. Next, we'll take a look at the Application Overview Dashboard. I'm going to select the application we want to use to see the testing progress on, Mobile Banking. Test Execution by Application indicates that the Mobile Banking application has one of the highest test execution failure rates. And when I select Mobile Banking Failed Bar in the Test Execution by Application chart, I can see that the failure for iPhones is much higher than that for Android devices. By clicking on the iPhone with the higher failure rate, you can see all the builds that that test failed. You can also see the list of various screen sizes for which the application was tested and failed. The test execution duration in hours provides further details on how long the test execution was run. In this case, it was 30 hours. Lastly, for an overview of the defect analysis dashboard, this is our latest enhancement to the integrate and verify analytics lens. We'll select the planning level with that we want to see the defect fixing, the value stream intelligence level. The data in the monthly defect trend dashboard indicates that this team has not been consistent in their defect identification and fixing in the last few months. The number of defects identified by this team seems higher than the number they are fixing. Over a period, this backlog of the defect will have an impact on the overall quality and customer satisfaction. On the impact of defect volume on defect age dashboard, the bubble at the top left hand shows that they have 231 defects that have been identified recently. It also looks like the team planned for a defect fixing sprint or release in which they have closed over 31 defects that were open for more than 225 days. The impact of defect volume on scope changes indicates that the team is forced to drop some of the features they have planned to fix defects identified by the customer or internal teams. That was a brief demo of the Integrate and Verify Analytic Lens. Thank you for watching and have a great day.